Welcome to the Podness with Face, Pat, and Tiz. I don't really go out that much. And when I do, I damn sure by myself, I'm always with my wife. So we've been talking about trying to go out more. And we're talking about this going out with other couples, shit, and engaging with other other people. You feel me? Like other married dumb, groups, dumb. Stuff, like that. So just off that, and me being the person I am, and now my wife being the person she are she is, and us being who are, we are together, it just brings up the, the age old thing. Like when you go out as a unit. Engaging with other units and how do you do that? Because you, you you feel like you and your partner, y'all got y'all thing, but everybody else thing ain't like y'all. So when y'all engage with each other, it it it, get, it, it can get kind of dicey and kind of spicy sometimes. So I got five things I just want to talk about or bring up and get everybody like everybody info on. So the the first thing I want to bring up is like the comfort level of each individual in this group. Said it's four people, four individuals. Does each individual person's comfort level matter? Uh, I'm gonna let somebody else go first. I'll go last. On <laughs> I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I would, I would say ideally, yes. Realistically, there are probably gonna be some compromises. <laughs> <laughs> when you say in each each person's comfort level, what are you referring to? Couple levels as far as what hanging out together, hanging out together, just hanging out, period, or just being in the place like anything. Like, you can take, like, okay, say you and your significant go other go out, anything that could bring you outside your comfort zone. But now you're in the setting with just it ain't just you and your partner, it's you, your partner, and two other randoms, but y'all all together. So, your comfort level, just as far as being out, being with these different people, just being in that whole environment, does that really matter in the larger scope? As long as everybody having fun, or does, or do you look at it as, all right, my wife good, I'm good, or shit, I don't like this shit, ain't nobody good. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the person, it seems. Right, yeah. comfort level. I mean, everybody comfort level is going to be going to have to be there. You're going to have to take that into account you know, what's going on as far as choosing a place, who you're going to hang around, and stuff like that. Um, I mean, personally, I'm comfortable with whatever. You know, my wife the same. You know what I'm saying? So we we bang like that and always been. So another cu- another couple want to do this or that. Yo, we did. You know what I mean? And we don't. We usually on the same page anyway. So as long as I'm on the same page with my wife and we got split out, yo, we'll dip out together. You know, it's been fun. We kicked you with y'all for this whatever minute, hours or whatever, and we'll kick out. But uh, as long as I'm on the same page with your, my wife, you know what I'm saying? That's all that matters. Me, to us. Make sure the unit good. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I, I would say it's similar to uh, S. Die man. Like uh, with with me and my wife, it's really just. Um, I, I feel like it's the only comfort level in the room that matter is the two women, because they gonna kind of dictate the rest of the evening. Like if they wow. unhappy, if they unhappy, both dudes gonna be unhappy as fuck anyway. Wow. If if, if they vibing and they chilling. Even if the dudes don't necessarily get along or they ain't really rocking with the spot or whatever, like because they with their wife, like they're going to be able to kind of vibe it out and make it work. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like it, it, it it's on the ladies. Like for me and my wife, like when we go out, like as long as she chill, like for me, I, I'm kind of like as that. Like I can be in any situation. It can be a uh, hoity toity. It can be ratchet. It can be. Somewhere in the middle, it can be we can go axe throwing, dirt bike riding, we can go into a go cave jump. Like it don't really matter. Like long as the wife be good, we're gonna end up joking and laughing halfway through it and, and making the most best out of it anyway. So yeah. All right, okay, okay. Second thing, does the place or the time that this event or this gathering matters? Uh I say, like, okay, y'all just said. Wherever y'all could, because the wife is good, love the wife is good, it's good. Okay. Say y'all going, we, it's collective. Once again, two different groups, two different, three different groups. Y'all going to a place, neither one of, neither one you or your wife has been to. Y'all have no like idea about this place or, or what it is. It's a suggestion by the other people. Does the place of the time have a, 
effect on how y'all engage with this couple. Say it's a new couple and y'all motherfuckers going to a um what what's the what's the place that is, is real popular now? Um people they lock you in this motherfucker, you gotta get out. Yeah, escape room. Escape room. Yeah, you feel me? You on a couple you on you on a couple date with the, and they suggest let's go to an escape room. But these ain't the two smartest motherfuckers at all. So <laughs> does this shit affect how y'all engage with them? Time and place. Yeah, I think it'll make it better. Like I think the weirder or the more different the place is for you and your wife like i feel like that give you more to talk about with the other couple like if it's some shit you used to like you might be so comfortable there you and your wife might just get into your own zone and um not shut the other couple out or or something like that but somebody might get like kind of left out but when it's like everybody kind of in a weird spot it, it almost force you to talk because you got a shared experience to kind of go through so I, I i think that that works better um as far as the time I don't think the time of day matter unless it's like you and your wife is the type of people that like that matters to y'all. Like if y'all the type that like, oh, we ain't going out after seven o'clock, then yeah, it matter. But <laughs> like, I mean, like, I, I feel like the, the, the time should match whatever the event is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. All right. Like most people like question. cook out three in the morning and most people ain't going to the club at like 11 a.m. So like whatever the event is probably going to match the time. Okay. Right. That's going to have to be like a mood thing, too. You know, what I mean, people got different mm -hmm. moods, different parts of the day. Mm -hmm. the morning people versus night people. Exactly. So, OK, yeah, I hadn't thought about that piece yet. But you got some people that just love their vampire life, and then some people love for that early morning shit. We got to meet somewhere in the middle, man, because I ain't getting up too early, and you ain't staying out too late. So, <laughs> I feel like if you, I feel like on some of that though, like if you ain't if you ain't vibing with the person on stuff like that, y'all probably not getting along to the point where y'all done start being like, oh, well, let's do a double date then. Like, right? Like I feel like. Uh, unless it's like a business type thing where you have to go out to like a banquet or some or a dinner or some type like that. I, I don't really know that many situations with my wife where like we going out with a couple that like we, one of us ain't like kind of vetted a little bit or at least like, oh, that's my homeboy. So yeah, yeah random introduce you to her wife, to his wife. Or, you know what I'm saying? That, that'll be her, her home girl. Let me, you know what I'm saying? But usually one of us done vetted the situation now is so we kind of know oh these are kind of people okay um, yeah i wouldn't just go out with a random yeah like, like in general on the first meeting if we met you at like a party or something like we might be cool at that party and then we might like kind of meet through them mutual friends we met you through a few more times for it'd be like oh all right we can hang like or something like that you know what i mean yeah, yo, where you met the person, that's gonna be key too. Because yeah. if you met somebody at a club, you're gonna feel more comfortable going back to a club, maybe a different yeah. club with them. You met them at, you know, you know, a business like setting, you probably have that same type of tape whenever you're the next place y'all go. So exactly. how you know the person, how you met the person, how long you've known the person. Because some people that you might have known for years, but y'all never really hung out. You know what I'm saying? That would be different because they all at least talked mm. about something. So mm -hmm. the way that you know the person is going to determine all of that. But that's part of that vetting process, you know. Right, right. Like I felt like a lot of our friends we uh, go out with, we kind of met through work or work friends. <clears throat> but because like we hang out with like certain, like so like our shit kind of branched off from the same original couple. And then it kind of just grew from there. But because we was hanging with that one couple a lot anyway, the other couples that was around, we kind of over time got to know them. So now, like us hanging out with just one of those couples, it isn't weird. It like it feels normal because it's like we know each other. We kind of know each other quirks and shit, and we, we, yeah, it's already a vibe. You know. What I mean? Okay, so that brings my next question up. We did. We get into the spicier questions. Okay, you're out. Something happens that you don't agree with. Um. But it doesn't hit everybody like it hits you. So how do you respectfully express dislike or disdain of a situation in that group setting? Because you can do it with your partner in a certain way. Once again, dealing with two different motherfuckers. How do you do? How do you respectfully <laughs> express what you ain't digging right now 
but still we're keeping everything flowing and not just fucking up the whole night. Uh, so that would be you talking about like uh, them wanting to do something or you talking about like conversation topics? Because those can go two different ways. Either. We're going to take it both ra- both routes. Either. We can be talking about a uh, top uh, conversation topic and it go left and you per se don't like this topic or you per se your, your opinions about this topic going to go left regardless when it's brought up. Or it could be a situation happening and something about that situation just ain't sitting real with you and you ain't a person to hold your tongue but you want to do this respectfully not to fuck up everybody night how I mean, do you go about that that's political is going to be the the topic that always comes up to mess up you know <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah when it comes when it comes to those political types things that be happening all the time to us if you have somebody that's you know whether you're my color and <laughs> and you still not agreeing with me or you another color and you see, you know, have a different view. I'm going to stand that. Some things you just got to follow. And like, it is what it is. You know, we can respectfully have a conversation about it, but I'm going to disagree with you the whole entire way. <laughs> Respectful <laughs> you know? debate. Yeah. I Those political that. ones, I mean, that's that's going to be a thing. Personally, I'm never offended because I know how to use my words and talk and express myself. So those uh-huh. people that, yeah. that don't, I mean, I don't know how they're going to feel. Right. I'm not, I don't have to, you know, cuss you out or anything like that. I'm just going to use my words and express it. I'm going I'm to give you hard facts, right. data behind it. And, you <laughs> right. know, you, you accept it how you accept it. But, you know, Fact. I mean, it happens all the time. This country steadily give us data hourly. <laughs> we can go we can go online right now and find some new data. So, Let you know, Google. We, we have a lot. We have a lot. So exactly. when it comes to things like that, you know, I. It's not about ruining the night, but I'm going to get my point across. And also, I'm going to let the other person share their thoughts, too. It will be a two way street. I'm not going to shut down the whole conversation. It'll be a two way street. But, yo, as adults, we got to learn to have conversations and, and not be offended by everything. Got to have those courageous I mean, conversations and be able to build exactly, each other. Because this world we got right now, everybody's so offended by everything. Yeah. I, mean, I ain't grew up like that. So, Hell no. Once again, that's going back to that vetting process and that vibe. You have to know that. You have to know who I am as a person and know that, hey, he 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 gonna talk that. <laughs> I am. And everybody knows that. But you know, that's that's gonna be part of that vetting process. You're gonna have to understand that we can respectfully disagree with each other. There you go. Yeah. Facts. And I- as as men, that's I would say as men, that's like like man code, like a, under that unspoken word pretty much that we should be able to debate with one one another and not get like our feelings involved mm-hmm. or feel some type of way because you're not totally agreeing with what i'm saying you know respectable debates pretty much people you know people do this all the time men do this all the time barbershops right uh bars so it, but I will say it does go with that vetting process because there's certain people you just can't have conversations with. Right. And you there's, certain motherfuckers certain conversation. there's certain motherfuckers you can't get in a conversation with and disagree because it's going to automatically go left regardless of how professional you try to um, display your actions, your intentions, your words, how together you're put together. Other, it's always that that percentage of the other motherfucker. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, right. it's, it's that slim chance of she got a dumb ass husband. This motherfucker has no intellect to have this debate with me. You know what? Yeah, but you know what though? Like in that case though, like I think it go back to again, like at the end of the day, in the situation, your only real responsibility is to you and your wife. There you go. So, like, mm-hmm. and if you feel like you get into that boiling point where like I I got to deal with it. But I, I want to keep it respectable. The main thing is not embarrassing her so, or keeping her respected. So, like, just let her know where you at. And usually your wife going to let you kind of know, like, I right, hey, maybe say this like this. Or, you know what I'm saying? That if she, I don't I don't know. Usually, like, if, if I don't like something, usually my wife be like, all right, well, say it like this, maybe. Or, well, well don't, okay, well, well, why don't we just go? Mm-hmm. Um, but but usually she'll have some way to have my back that keep her from being like embarrassed. You know what I mean? Because okay. I mean, at the end of the day, that's really the only thing that you're responsible for. Like the feelings right. and the the mother motherfucker ain't your responsibility. Yeah, right. like I didn't come with you. Like, so, mm-hmm. so I ain't gonna leave there, so, I leave so like, 
Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep it respectable as I would with any other person in the world, but the the main person feelings that I'm worried about is my wife. Okay. Since we're talking about feelings, we are gonna talk about feeling on each other. Then, um, doing a couple <laughs> of games. <laughs> how, you, how you dealing with the public PDA? How you dealing with the PDA of the other group? You feel me? Respectfully dealing with the oh, PDA. public PDA. display of affection, right? So just with like that. Just with in this setting, you feel me? In that setting, it's it's you and yours, him and hers. I mean, him and her. But yeah. they all on each other, rubbing, kissing, and y'all out in an event like. Can y'all stop this shit? Or you know what? We just gonna we gonna peace out and man our business. Or these motherfuckers are really doing all this shit right beside us. I think, some it's more, I think it's more of I mean, if you going out with another couple, you're supposed to be engaging with everybody. You <laughs> y'all can engage with each other, you know, on your own separate date, you know, okay. type of thing. There's no okay, point of us being, being out if you're only gonna engage with each other. What right. if they try to engage with y'all in the on the same time? Hold on, dude. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Since you bring that up, swingers, be like some swingers. Since, since you bring that up, you know what I mean, since what you been watching? Up, what they try to? What you been watching? You been watching this, everything. This, this should be brought up in the vetting process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, you should, y'all, you should find out if they like after dark. I think that's <laughs> a conversation that you're supposed to have with your wife before, like y'all even get to the point of double, that, right? Like, <laughs> How do we feel about this? What we what we doing? Look, don't be <laughs> no, no, out there. No surprises. Man, like I, I don't I don't know about you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Me and my wife probably gonna look at you like you fucking crazy. Like we both right. as fuck. Oh, like, she, what the shit. fuck going on in this? Yeah, I, we we didn't discuss we didn't discuss threesomes and everything, and we figured out like we just both selfish as fuck. Like. <laughs> Oh, it just is what it is. Like that shit, that shit ain't gonna go right for somebody. Yeah, and then you this might not just be attractive. This bitch. <laughs> and they, they might not just be non-attractive to you at all. So that's gonna be a weird situation. In period, oh, yeah. like, nah, in that like, situation if they ugly, yeah, like, <laughs> it's gonna be hard for me to be respectful because, like, right, like, give them that face. My brain will come to light, and I'm just gonna like whatever I'm thinking is probably gonna. Yeah, because that, that's already a couple yeah, strikes. You you know, bring something with me. You know what I'm saying? You try to throw a surprise. You ugly. That's two strikes. You got one more. Yeah. <laughs> you got one more. You got one more left to go. We got a free fall at that point. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not responsible for yeah. however it go from that. Look point. around. I might have already know. I don't know. Right. It, look, I we playing like basketball here. That's that's two flavor fouls, man. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, I, I got laid in. At some point, I'm gonna have fun. Dave and Buster's, and they say, I know you talking about how we like what we were just getting want, tickets. We were just getting right. tickets you on the basketball game. Swap? I ain't come for that. Like, man, go ahead, and cancel my order. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> good. Fuck this, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> go ahead, cancel my order. I'm good. <laughs> Baby, I'm come on, gone shit. already. <laughs> Baby, you want to catch some on the way home? I'm sure they got some. I'm sure some open right now. All right, right now I'm clicking the button right now to open the door. I got one more. I got one more question written on the docket, but I just thought of another one. Somebody add this one in before that last one. Okay, oh, dum, 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 dum. just scenario. Okay, scenario. Group couple thing. Okay, this couple invites y'all out. Okay, don't worry about where we're going. It's it's a, it's some new it's some new thing that's happening in town. We just want to take y'all to it. Okay. Club setting, but it's a relaxed club setting, not a bunch of dancing, drinking and shit. Um, stage show, come on, y'all done y'all done seen HBO shows and shit where they got people coming on stage and fucking on stage. They bring y'all to this, y'all don't know what the fuck going on. This shit just start happening. Y'all getting to believe it? No. Y'all standing watching the fucking. That's like a trip. That's like a strip club that just crazy. I mean, I feel like there's gonna be some signs of that beforehand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure going to peep some a, signs out. A mark or something. There's going to be one like <laughs> randomly naked person just walking past. But, but it got to be like freaked this. out by, by watching some people fuck. I just don't want nobody else doing shit to my wife. Like, I, I don't <laughs> mind, you know, me and my wife get nasty while we watch somebody else do their thing as long as ain't nobody else doing nothing with her but me. We do. <laughs> <laughs> and she pretty much agree with that on the reverse. So, like, yeah, I, I, oh, I, shit. do y'all thing up there. Enjoy. Oh shit. <laughs> wife and might wife and might throw a dollar to up there for you. You know, like, hey, it, it ain't nothing. Gotta change my hat on that one. Uh, yeah. 
I don't mind watching that. All right, I'm final question. I ain't weirded out about that. Final question. I think I know everybody answer on this anyway. All right, time to pay. Settling up. All men in. Each person for themselves. If everybody ain't married, does a married man set the tone, and the and the boyfriend or the other woman follows follows suit, or what is it? Unless it's a special occasion or a prior agreement been made, like you you pay for your wife, I pay for my wife. Uh, that's Standard. How that role. <coughs> Standard. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you just you pay for who you brought. Yeah, like, that's, you know, that's... If I brought my wife and my kid, and you got your wife and your kids, and we pay for our families, and we you know. Usually it is the man that does it unless like the unless it's like Father's Day or something. So the women that took the dudes out or something like that or something like. But usually, yeah, you know, baby, what you get? All right. So I got. All right. Cool. So that's what we got. And we, you know, we can split the tip and we about that thing. No, I don't think I got that. I don't think I got that. That's them. That's them. That's them. Yeah. yeah like, but <laughs> I, don't, I ain't never had that be a thing. Like, usually. To be honest, like most of the time when we go out like with like groups of couples, unless it's like a thing where it's already established, like so and so and so paying for this, or hey, I got this one, y'all, or something like that. Usually when before the bill even come, like everybody's kind of like established at the beginning, like, hey, yeah, we're gonna have split bills. And the waiter already had that established as they taking the orders and shit. But, yeah. Right. <laughs> That go a lot just to the type of people I hang with now. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stuff like that is not even a, a issue where I am in my life right now. Yeah. Now, when we was like younger, it. you know, that <laughs> it is a conversation. <laughs> all the time. But yeah, just the people that I choose to have in my circle, that's not even an issue. Exactly. When you hang with other adults, it, you don't have right. a problem. Right. Yeah. And I have some more people that I've you know known all my life starting to come into this adult stage, even though they're 10 years older than me, you know? Oh, yeah. It comes. Right. So, you know, bringing them along. But that's the type. Even though I knew certain people all my life, you know, their mindset was different than mine. Uh, You know what I mean? You got to got to build people on. But, um, yeah, just the type of people I hang with, though. This stage, we we all good with that. That's that's never been an issue, I could say, in a long time. Yeah, I don't think I yeah, right. nothing like that. But with the conclusion of that question, I think it's about time. Oh shit! What you think? Oh shit! It's, it's Damn, time it's already. It's time. 